is there anything more wonderful to happen on this earth than the redemption of the scoundrels Jug Eye and Mud High? This story happened approximately 500 years ago in the sacred land of Nadia. The divine Sri Krishna, Lord of all creation and Lord of the gopis' hearts, decided to appear on this planet. Lord Krishna's complexion is that of a dark rain cloud, but upon borrowing the moods of Srimati Radhika, his bodily luster became like hers, gold kissed by the first rays of dawn's light. He was named Vishvambar and was affectionately called Nimai, but he grew to also be known as Gauranga, Lord Chaitanya, and Mahaprabhu. He also did not come alone. He brought his nearest and dearest associates from the spiritual world. Who had come? Prabhu Nichananda, Shi Advaita, Gadadhar, and Srivas. Together with Lord Chaitanya, they were known as the Pancha Tattva. They came to support Mahaprabhu in his divine mission to taste and understand the love that Sri Mati Radhika has for Sri Krishna and to drown the entire population in love of God. But changing the hearts of wicked people can sometimes be more challenging than one would think, even for the Supreme Lord. called Krishna Prem. But our reservoirs are full. But I am concerned for those people who live outside of these walls. How can we irrigate their hearts with the same waters that flow freely in this place? How can their pots, which more resemble colanders, hold this nectar, which I yearn to give? My heart, Gauranga, I see your problem clearly. Put this burden upon my shoulders, and I will have no choice but to fulfill your orders. 
I will spread the name to every man, woman, and child. If they reject my gift, they will find me deaf to the word no. If they do not have a suitable container to hold this mercy, I will gather clay from the Ganges and fire them a pot with my own two hands. My dear Nityananda, you are indeed the one I need for this task. You will also take Haridas with you. I want you both to go house to house and share with the people my instructions. Bolo Krishna Baja Krishna Koro Krishna Shiksha Chant the names of Krishna! Worship Krishna! And follow his instructions. Beg if you have to! For this, this is the most important gift we can give them. At the end of each day, bring me a report on your progress. you two come to my door looking like a fortune angels. I am Haridas and this is my associate Nityananda. We are representatives of our Lord Gauranga. We have a request to make of you. Yes, yes. Come in and have some food. We can discuss these things over breakfast. Thank you. But we have no time and we have no desire to take from you but only to give. Take this gift of the holy name of Krishna and chant it loudly. Of course, I will glorify his name Krishna. Louder, louder. Krishna, Krishna. Yes, this is so nice, but even sweeter. Bhajagaranga. Mahagoranga, Mahagorange, Namade. Just worship Lord Goranga, sing Goranga, speak only about Lord Goranga. Goranga, Goranga. Hello, may I help you? I am Haridas, and this is my associate, Nityananda. Do you have time that we may share the glories of the holy names? If you wish for my time, you must compensate me with something of equal value. I'm very busy. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that by chanting the name Goranga, even once, you will gain fortunes far beyond material wealth. Also, I personally will be indebted to you and become your servant, your father, your brother, or anything you like in this life and forever. Listen, I don't know anything about this chanting. I don't believe that it might work or not work. But what I do believe is you have extraordinary faith. 
in this chanting. So therefore, I will also chant. Go Ranga! Go Ranga! You are blessed, good sir! Blessed! Come, Nityananda. We must go, for we have more work to do. Oh, what is it? I do not have anything for beggars, so leave me be. Good sir, we are not begging for anything material. We are only beggars of brain, love of God. We wish to share with you the unparalleled benefit of the holy names of Krishna. No, no, I am not interested, so leave me be. Wait, come back, please, please. Get, get off me! If you do not! I can never leave this spot until you do! Help! Help! There are pillagers here trying to attack me! These beggars! Quickly! We must run! Or surely we will be spending the remainder of our days in prison! Not until he chats, go to go! Alright, alright! Alright, fine. If it will make you leave, I will say it. <laughs> Go Ranga! Deer was replaying the whole thing. Deer was like, this is what happened. You can't do that. Stop all of This is too good, dude. Very natural. <laughs> Hello, beautiful lady. <laughs> my name is Jagai. And this is my brother Marai. And who is this little one? His name is Deva. Please, sir, I, I really must be going. My, my husband is almost finished with our shopping. Please. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What's the hurry? Can't you see my brother's trying to give you a gift? You don't want to be ungrateful to a Brahmin, do you? No, no. I'm, I'm just, um, I'm running late and I, I really must go. Nonsense. No need to rush. I can personally escort you and little Deva. We can make a day of it. Get to know each other a little better, huh? Is that your husband over there? I'm sure I can explain this situation. Get him to agree. No, I... I'm sorry. I, I really must be going. Beautiful lady. I'm only looking for a little friendship. I'm hurt that you're treating me as if I were some sort of rogue or dacoit. Is that what you think of me? I'm a Brahmin of the highest lineage. I, I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, good sir. I really must be going. Hey! What are you doing to my wife? Ho oh, there. Where do you think you're going? Don't you know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
know, I know who you are. The whole town knows who you are. You are the brothers Jagai and Madai, bring fear and terror to us all. But I am not afraid, for you are both cowards, bring fear to all. Constable, Constable, can you not see what is going on here? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, did you think that would work? Telling on us to the constable? Help! Help! Whatever shall we do? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid you have us all wrong. Brother, why don't you take our brave new friend here and show him, explain to him the error of his ways. Hmm? No. Ah. no. Ah. Please, I beg you, please. I'll do anything you want. Oh, I'll oh, walk with you. Oh, I'll do anything you want. Please, just let my husband go, please. Uh, please. I'm please. afraid it's a little late for that, fair lady. You see, who would respect us if we didn't hold people accountable for their actions? Now get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> well, it seems he wasn't as tough as he thought. Well, that was exciting. But I built up a strong thirst. Let's get a drink. Is Davy dancing? Well, if she wasn't before, she will be now. <laughs> Let's go, brother. A strong bottle should ease my broken heart. <laughs> Oh, the beautiful lady. Oh. 
going? Young Go lady. Leave. You're so beautiful. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Anita, these must be the two fallen Brahmanas we have been hearing about, Jagai and Madai. Oh, just hearing some of their activities makes me want to bathe for purification. Maybe we should steer clear of this group. Just the opposite, my dear Haridas. Did our Lord Goranga not incarnate? To bring the highest mercy to the most fallen souls? Remember when you had forgiven the Mohammedan guards who had whipped you? Would it not be the highest glorification for our Lord Goranga if we could get these two black sheep to chant the holy names of the Lord? Nityananda, your heart is certainly one with our Lord. And your desires are his as well. Very well, let us have faith and enter the jackal's den. Hari Hari Nama Krishna Yadavaya Nama All right, all right, enough. You two must be lost. I'm going to let you find your bearings and rectify your location on the count of three. One. Wait, we are not lost, for we have found the map laid out by Lord Goranga himself. Two. Please chant Krishna's name and worship him, for he is the supreme well-wisher of all living entities. Yes. He has appeared as a merciful incarnation for your sake. Take this opportunity. Give up your sinful ways of life and surrender unto him. Three. who had witnessed this scene were delighted and maliciously thought these two charlatans will get what they deserve. While the pious Brahmins cried out, O oh Krishna, save them. The rogues Jagai and Madai chased the two saints like ravenous hyenas, squealing drunkenly after them. When the two thought themselves safe, they stopped to catch their breath. <laughs> Oh, oh, Haridas, we have really got ourselves into trouble now. I would be surprised if we get out of this alive. <laughs> we? I was acting on your instructions. If we hadn't tried to, if we, now we've tried to instruct these faithless drunkards, I'm likely to die in this alleyway. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> get that out! <laughs> No, 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 sit down, stay down, that will just go nuts. What's the matter, Haridas? Why do you look so worried? Krishna saved you from Mohammedan tormentors. Why would he not save you now? Oh, I trust Krishna just fine. It's you with your wild nature and lack of judgment that I question. If not for you, I would be peacefully chanting in a grove somewhere. Now, if these two drunken brothers don't catch me and cut me up first, I'm likely to die from lack of breath. It is not my fault. Our beloved Goranga is a Brahmin, yet he's giving out orders like some king. Have you ever heard of the order to go door to door to preach? If we follow his instruction, we risk our lives. And if we disobey him, we risk offending him. So why blame me? 
Our beloved Goranga should share some of the responsibility. <laughs> well, no time to argue, here they come! <laughs> Where do they go? Who knows, brother? But I'm sure they will think twice before they try to interrupt our night again. <laughs> You're most likely right, brother. Look, the sun's coming up. Let's go. I'm sure there's a fine citizen nearby who would be delighted to lend his bed to a couple of high-class brahmins. <laughs> Please tell me how your preaching has been going, as I am eager to know. Oh, all things considered, not too bad. <laughs> Despite my young companion's enthusiastic insurance, assurance, I'm sure we have run into quite an obstacle. We are chased all night by two fallen murderous brahmanas. Who are these two? What are their names? And if they were really brahmanas, why have they behaved in such a despicable way? Their names are Jagai and Madai. Their father was a very pious brahmana, but due to bad association, they have become so degraded. The limits of their degradation cannot be detailed in one session. If they are as atrocious as you say, shall I lay eyes on them? I will end their lives with my Sudarshan Chakra. Oh, merciful one, please do not be so angry with Jagai and Madai. If you kill them, I will not be able to complete my service to you. Let me try again to get them to chant the name of Krishna. If you can bring these two to devotion, then your reputation as Patita Pav and Agoda Hari, Savior of the Most Fallen, will be shouted from every rooftop. <laughs> My dear Nityananda, if you are so concerned with their welfare, then they are already delivered. Krishna will certainly be coming for them very soon. Haribo! Oh, Acharya Dwaita, I am very confused on how I can fulfill our Lord's instructions. He has sent me to preach with an extremely unpredictable person. If I walk one way, he walks the other. Sometimes he jumps into the river to try to wrestle crocodiles. And when I try to rescue him, he plays dead. Anything else? He asks young girls to marry him, gets on a bull shouting, Mahesh! Then angrily provokes young children and boys and their parents come chasing with sticks. I have to beg for both of us. Harry Das, there's nothing wrong with this behavior. Does a drunkard not seek the association of other drunks? Is it, what is Nitananda if not drunk with love of Krishna? Ha, 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 ha. 
Therefore, he seeks the association of Jogai and Mada. But heed my words. Lord Nitananda's intoxication is far superior to Jogai and Mada's. And he will drown them in an ocean of his sweetness. Oh, Acharya Dwita, thank you for your correction. I am pleased to hear your explanations, and I will take them into my heart. It so happened that Jagai and Madai took up residence close to the house of Lord Garanga, near the banks of the Ganga. They continued to terrorize the neighborhood, but something of note began to happen. <laughs> Due to the proximity to the Lord, the despicable brothers could hear his nightly kirtans. They would stay up all night, drunkenly dancing to its ecstatic rhythms. Dancing, falling, drinking, and dancing some more. One night, while searching the streets for entertainment, they ran into Lord Nityananda. Hey there. Hold up one second. Do we know you? Yes, I seem to recognize your face from somewhere. And you bravely walk our streets at night? What is your name? I am no one of note. I am simply headed to the house of Nimai Pandit. He is the one you should meet. My brother asked you a question, and I am in no mood for your vagaries. I am Abadut! <laughs> you think you're a comedian? I asked you your damn name. Maybe this will jog your memory. and has done nothing to harm us. What were you thinking? <laughs> As Lord Nichinanda stood bleeding before the brothers Jagai and Madai, he meditated on the sweet mercy of Sri Garanga Mahaprabhu. He gave a beautiful smile, knowing that the Lord would have no choice but to come and give Jagai and Madai his attention. The word of what happened reached Mahaprabhu's ears quickly. He marched, devotees in tow, with the speed of a bolt of lightning and the rumble of thunder. A thunder sounded as if the gods banged war drums. To Jagai and Madai, it seemed as if the angel of death had arrived to end their time on this earth. Jagai! Madai! You have committed the gravest of sins! Attacking this Vaishnav is a worse offense than attacking your own mother! Behold! The last thing that you will see on this planet! Sudarshan Chakra! Come to me! I am unharmed. I assure you, 
Please be pacified. These two, these two have only caused harm and hurt you, who are most dear to my heart. Their lives, their lives are forfeit. Please, please, I beg you to have mercy on these fallen souls. Do they have even one redeeming quality that they should keep their lives? Yes, yes. Oh, when Madai was going to strike me again, Jugai stopped his brother. <laughs> Please put aside your righteous anger and listen to my plea. Spare them both and be pacified. Please be pacified. I see. Jagai, not only are you saved, but now, now I am indebted to you for protecting my Nitinanda. You may ask of me whatever it is you desire. And because I cannot repay you, may from this day forth you be firmly fixed in pure devotion to Sri Krishna. Take my foot dust upon your chest and rise with pure love of Krishna. My Lord. My Lord. The both of us were sinners. How can you say my brother, but not me? My heart pains as if pierced by a thousand swords. Please show me mercy for no one else can forgive all the countless sins I have committed. Madai, I cannot deliver you. For you are responsible for shedding the blood of one who is most dear to Sri Krishna. Don't say this. Do not. You have shown me that you are the same Supreme Lord who has come to deliver the entire world, so who else can save me? As you know me as the Lord, you know that Lord Nityananda's body is more dear to me than my own. You are my only savior. Who else will be able to forgive me? Otherwise, I am totally lost. There is your salvation, the two feet of Nityananda. For you have hurt him. Only he can forgive you. You know that I have taken no offense. And any potency I have is just a transformation of your mercy. If I have acquired any piety in my devotional service to you, then let my reward be given to this Madai. And with this embrace, may you drown like I have in the nectar of the Lord's mercy. Come, Jagai and Madai. You have come, Jagai and Madai. You have no more worries now that you are my servants. The miracles that you have witnessed here today are only made possible by the unique mercy of Nityananda. May all the Vaishnavas here witness that I am personally accepting all the reactions to their countless sins.
after this extraordinary event happened, there was a great glorification of Lord Guranga, who had delivered Jagai and Madai. Even the demigods had witnessed these pastimes of Mahaprabhu and spread his glories from Satya Loka to Patal Loka. Jagai and Madai became prime examples of piety. Before sunrise, they would bathe in the Ganga's transcendental waters and then sit on the banks and chant Krishna's holy name 200,000 times daily. Out of their newfound humility, Jagai and Madai never forgot where they had come from and were plagued by memories of their past sinful behavior. Though they both suffered, Madhai especially could not let go of the atrocities he had committed. Tears from your eyes never stop flowing. You haven't eaten and you barely slept. What can I do for you? Oh, brother, I am not sure if there's a cure for this destroyed heart of mine. My heart is rent in two, and it all starts when I begin chanting. I see Lord Nikdananda's moon like face, but then my heart melts from the beauty. And then I see blood. And that's all I see, brother. It never leaves my vision. Oh, brother. I do not have the expertise to help you, though I wish I could. Maybe you should go before Lord Nityananda and beg for his forgiveness and ask him. That is all I can think to help. Your body is so soft that it is the resting place for the entire cosmos in Sri Krishna. And I harmed that same body. I struck your face, which is so luminous that it lights the way for all lost souls. Fire on me! Who is a worse monster than me? And your lotus feet they can deliver the most fallen. And who in yugas, past, present, and forever forward into the future, could ever be more fallen than me? Forgive me. Save me. <laughs> oh, my God. You are my servant and are therefore now a very part of this body that you glorify. Is a father disturbed when his small child hits him? And you are even closer to me than a father to his son. Just as a small puddle of water dissipates in the strength of the sun, Lord Goranga has already dissipated your past sinful actions. Let his mercy again be a balm to soothe your broken heart. My Lord, thank you. I finally feel whole again for the first time ever in my life. But there's still some bruising 
And thus I have one more prayer to ask of you. I have committed countless sins, so much violence against so many living souls in this world. And I can't remember all of their faces. If I did, I would beg each and every one of them for forgiveness. Please remedy this situation. My dear mother, construct a bathing ghat at the Ganga. When the residents of Nadia come, ask each of them for their forgiveness. Serving them and Mother Ganga will make the rest of your life auspicious. And so Jagai and Madai built a great god and begged all who would enter for forgiveness. The people of Nadia were so completely taken aback by the transformation of the two brothers that they spread the glories of Sri Gauranga to their families and surrounding towns. And thus, the spark of Mahaprabhu's Sankirtan movement grew to a blazing fire. the gatekeepers of my future, of which your next words will determine my path. I have done so much wrong to you that any condemnation you have, I will, I will gladly put upon my head without protest. My good sir and dear lady, I am a much worse sinner than my brother is. But I have only one hope that was given to me by my lord, Skoranga Nityananda, and it is to accept any punishment you deign to give or to beg you for forgiveness. Forgive us! Please! Please forgive us! Please! Forgive us. please. themselves with two duckwits who once terrorized this land. But they are not them. Those men are long gone. These two are named Jagai and Madai. These two are both saints and servants of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu and deserve all of our respect. Let us remember these pastimes so that we may learn that the Vaishnavas, headed by the divine example of Pati Pavana, Sri Nichananda Prabhu, are the most merciful saviors of the fallen. And if two individuals, such as Jagai and Madai, can transform from the most fallen to the most worshipable, then there is great hope for every single one of us. Nachriya Marmon, Ore Nachriya Marmon, 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 Nachriya Mar
Goswami that everything should end sweetly. Yes. Yes, I have to confess, there were times that I was feeling very uncomfortable in this drama. And I was very, uh, what? Stereo? <laughs> but I think we were meant to. I think we were meant to feel uncomfortable. Um, are we going to see the players? attend to your chanting a little more. <laughs> I think it came too easily for you. Very natural. <laughs> uh, and just when I thought I couldn't take any more, the dancers came on for the first time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And then the dancers. Oh, so soothing, wasn't it? And then they came back again to ruin it all. Uh, but, thankfully, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, they saved the day. They came to exhibit such beautiful mercy. Uh, the beautiful couple, you know, so traumatized, but yet so humble and merciful. You know, very nice. Uh, Haridas and Nityananda, uh, accepting all the, the, the danger and the trauma, and yet transcendentally humorous and happy. Uh, 
all the different neighbors that were being uh, uh, <laughs> that were being asked to chant the holy name. They were all very excellent. Rascal constable. No shame, shame, shame. You know, the Choya. But also, you know, the, the those who designed the costumes, the props the music, all the support crew. We can't imagine how much must have gone into this behind the scenes, yeah? And once again, the Lope, with the mighty effort, penning this play and directing and overseeing all of it. We're in a great pit. By seeing this drama, actually heart was melting. And considering the, the merciful nature of Shinitan Prabhu, Mere chi kalsi mata, tai bola ki prem devo na ki. Shinitan Prabhu said, you hit me on my forehead with that pot. Just on that point, will I not give you prem? This is nothing. See the merciful nature of Shinitan Prabhu. How beautiful they played this, enacted this. Actually, it was melting the heart. Why Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chose? Shri Nityam Prabhu and Haridas Thakur. Suno Suno Nityanand Suno Haridas. Amar Agya Sarvatra Karo Prachar. Prati Griye Griye Karo Ehi Bikha. Bolo Krishna, Bhajo Krishna, Karo Krishna Shikha. Oh Haridas, oh Nityanand. Go each and every house and beg them. What? Instruct them. Bolo Krishna, Bhajo Krishna. Why? Mahaprabhu chose Shri Nityam Prabhu and Haridas Thakur. Heard from Vaishnavas. Because Shri Nityam Prabhu is the cause of the creation. The creation happens from Shri Nityam Prabhu. By his manifestations, Purusha Avatarus. And who is Haridas Thakur? It's Brahmaji, who is also creator. So one who is creating uh, it's his responsibility also to maintain. So you have created, and now you both are responsible to maintain and nourish everyone. Uh, what? With what? With Krishna Nam. This is the reason Mahaprabhu Choshi, Nityam Prabhu, and Haridas Thakur. And Nityam Prabhu is fully aware of details of Krishna Nam. So how he came and distributed what? Bhaj Gaurango, Kaho Gaurango, Laho Gaurange Ramare, Jai Jana Gauranga Bhaje, Sehi Yama Pranre. Shri Nitya Prabhu's only life is Shri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So he's distributing Mahaprabhu. Yeah. So, how we have to attain that Mahaprabhu? Yadyapi Amar Guru Chaitanya Das Tathapya Jani Ami Tahar Prakash the, the manifestation of Shri Nitya Prabhu is Shri Guru Dev. So therefore, we catch hold the feet of our merciful, compassionate Shri Guru Dev. Gauranga is your property. Can you please give Gauranga to us? And with that mood, with a service mood, we always should remember this pastime. And Thank you so much, all the players, for this wonderful play, which melted everyone's heart. Thank you so much. And as usual, we know our beloved Chula Gurudev is worshipfully watching over all of you and all of us, and inspiring us by his perpetual, everlasting, eternal presence and love. So now we'll take Shri Gurudev back. Oh, and we have a special welcome for our guest. So today I'm very happy to see all of you are acting. All you are coming here for acting. Actually, Lord sent here to make the drama. What drama? Drama to be a real servant of Supreme Lord. 
In this drama, you can see Jangai Madai, who all totally looks like ferocious. <laughs> but by the mercy of Guru Vaishnav Haridash, sitting there. <laughs> and then, then they are eligible to get mercy from not with the Lord Gauranga. In this is the process we have to go through. Guru, Vaishnav, Bhagavan. So this is the drama we have to do every day, every step of our life. That is the purpose the Lord sent us. This is the Lord desire. Lord desire, therefore Lord create this universe. This entire universe is like a stage for drama. All we are actor of drama. Our main act, act is to become eternal servant of Supreme Love in every aspect. Whatever ashram we have, that's the matter. If you have, if you are householder, then you can be the best householder. How you can be best householder? You have to be a good mother. How you can be a good mother? When you teach your child, Krishna consciousness. How we can a good father? You know this Simad Bhagavatam one sloka is there. Guru na shashvat sajano na shashvat pitar na shashvat janani na shashvat daivang na shashvat patin na shashvat no mucha jasamapreta mitum That we have to always keep in our mind that we are coming here to become a good actor. That person is a good actor who become a real servant of Supreme Lord in each, each activities. Like Yuvati. She is, ah, she told me, she, she, she is professional drama. Huh? Right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so this way we can represent our actual goal of our human life. Our actual goal of human life to become a the best servant of Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord mercifully appear here in the form of Lord Chaitanya. I don't know his name. He's doing good. Good Yeah. Same. Yes. Same. I can't recognize it. I know. <laughs> and also Nityananda also. Really? Madhu Mangala. Very nice. So please do it every year and in life, every daily life, try to be, try to be eternal servant of Supreme Lord from your best ability, with your best ability. That is, that will make our life, human life become absolutely perfect. Unless or until you are not going to be absolutely perfect. It is impossible to deliver us from this miserable mundane world. So I am humbly praying to my beloved spiritual master, Guru Parampara, as well as my worshipful Lord Radha Krishna, to give all of you that, that inspiration to become perfect actor of this ultimate human lives. This is good. Be actor means, perfect actor means, be proper servant of Supreme Lord. Through chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, that, that will actually revive to your, to our heart. Through chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra under the shelter of a pure devotee, it will revive to our heart. So chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra and each steps of your life become a real servant of Supreme Lord. If you are father, someone with the good father, the best father. Mother, someone with the best mother. Whatever relation, all relation, keep connection with Supreme Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.